Hello friends, welcome to Insights Icon Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about dynamic injunction. Recently, Star India Private Limited, they filed a dynamic injunction regarding their broadcasting rights related to ICC Men's World Cup. Regarding this, we are, we are going to discuss about further details. So before we go into the details of the video, we will first do the syllabus mapping, then video components. You know students, not only the Star India recently, even the Sony Live also, they filed a dynamic injunction regarding usage of their content in Instagram Reels. So, first let us see the contents, of, I mean this syllabus mapping, then we will go, go through the video content components. First, syllabus mapping. This is related to prelims point of view and current affairs as well as in terms of mains, polity and governance, which is related to gender studies, paper 2. Then, video components. In this video, we are going to discuss about why this particular word dynamic injunction in news. Like I said earlier, Star India Private Limited, they try to protect their contents from the illegal usage by various websites because they are telecasting the ICC World uh, Cricket Tournament, which is ongoing. You know that. Next, injunction. I will tell you what is the meaning of injunction. Then, what is the dynamic injunction? That means, what is the difference between the injunction and dynamic injunction? Okay, dynamic injunction is a progressive idea compared to the injunction. Then what is the meaning of copyrights? Copyrights, how many years copyrights can be given in terms of certain works? For certain works, it is for the lifetime of the whoever created that work plus 60 years after their lifetime. And for other kind of works, this copyright is only for the 60 years from the date of production. So we'll discuss about what are the different categories. Then let me explain about section 37 of the Copyrights Act and some exception to the copyrights that is section 39 we will discuss. And finally, we will end this video by quoting some Supreme Court judgments or some judicial, you know, like uh, uh, inter I mean interpretations regarding the copyrights. So before we discuss all these things, first let me explain the broad view of the intellectual property rights. You know, students, intellectual property rights is all about protection we are giving to the innovation work or innovative work of the individual. You know, if there is a protection of re related to innovative work, then that act as an incentive to the human being to go for more innovation. If there is no such kind of protection is there, if someone's innovative work is being copied easily, then that dampens, that act as a negative towards one innovation, one's innovation. So it is our responsibility to protect, to protect one's innovation. That can be done by international organizations as well as various nations through intellectual property rights. So the intellectual property rights can be varied different types based on the product we are talking about and based on protection we are seeking. So when you consider all these things, intellectual property rights can be classified into patent, copyrights, trademarks, designs, database and trade secrets. Especially these trade secrets are related to, you know, like uh, if a particular, if a particular product is related to a limited information and if they want that limited information uh, should be protected from the outside world in that condition these trade secrets will be used regarding the rest of the things very common patent and copyright and all these things now we are going to discuss about copyrights especially because star india having exclusive rights regarding the broadcasting of icc men's world cup in india i'm talking about and in some other countries in the rest of the countries uh, respective broadcasting channels they are having the broadcasting rights now let us see regarding what the context of this particular issue delhi high court passed dynamic injunction in favor of that means the judgment in i mean the order in favor of the star india private limited which is official broadcaster of icc men's cricket world cup 2023 it is a significant legal move to combat the online privacy and protect the rights of content owners so here the entire crux let me explain this you know like star india private limited they anticipated that their content will be copied and their content will be reproduced in other websites they don't want that because they lose their revenue that is the reason they got this dynamic injunction dynamic injunction means before they broadcast okay before they start broadcasting itself no one you know like no one should copy this kind of content normally so normal injunction means first you know like for example 
now the star india is broadcasting a particular uh, uh, game or particular match then after that you know like after 5 minutes or 10 minutes someone copied that and someone is telecasting that is the normal injunction you will go for when you the dynamic injunction is all about you are prohibiting someone before they committing the activity itself same like you know article 22 detention punitive detention preventive detention punitive detention is all about after you committing a crime you will be detained whereas preventive detention before you committing a crime you are going to be prevented from doing the crime here also the dynamic injunction is all about someone i mean you know like potential abusers they are preventing from committing the act before the crime itself you know like so it's like a preventive detention in our normal language why they sought they sought because this kind of privacy they may affect their revenue you know because these channels they got this kind of broadcasting rights by paying huge amounts to the icc or bcci so now they should protect their financial interest that is the you know like main objective here so injunction what is the meaning of injunction injunction is all about court will ask someone to stop certain activity this activity is generally violation of the law generally it can be granted only after establishing any infringement of copyrights so if you are able to prove or if you are able to establish before the court that your copyrights are being infringed because of someone's activity then you can anticipate that they are going to do this kind of thing so you can uh, you can get the blanket blanket dynamic injunction against the potential abusers that we have to understand dynamic injunction obviously it is a legal remedy it is a pre preemptive action that that is you know like so you are going before someone committing the crime it is against the potential copyright infringement so even before the copyright occurs before it is released you will get the protection and it is used to prevent the possibility of copyrights copyrighted contents i mean uh, being being you know like pirated as well as being uploaded into the rogue website it is generally the most uh, effective tool to prevent the online piracy uh, next copyrights in india copyrights works under copyrights act 1957 and recently it amended in 2012 also we will discuss about what is it amendment is all about the amendment is all about if you will get the international copyright protection that international copyright protection it is applicable in india also that means for example if you create a work and you got the international copyrights in usa whatever the protection you are getting in the usa that means the country where the work has been produced the same kind of protection you will get in india also that means it is a step where india is honoring the international agreements so with respect regarding that we amended ministry the ministry of human resource and development under this ministry copyrights office works and copyrights related to various activities creators of liter literary and drama musical and artistic works even it is related to cinematographic films and sound recordings there is a reason guys sometimes in youtube also copyright free okay content that can be used otherwise you will attract the youtube strikes also next rights what kind of rights this uh, you know like this copyrights will provide right to reproduction of the work that means already if the work is there you can use that work so that that music you can use in the youtube videos or that content you can use in your videos that kind of rights and you can translate that work also into other uh, other types where you want to use next international copyrights order like i said earlier copyrights which got through the international copyrights order they will get the same protection in india also like what kind of protection they are having the in country of their origin of course the additional protection will not be provided whatever the protection they are getting in the global level the same kind of protection will be offered in india too certificate of registration of copyrights normally whenever a innovative work is produced by default from the day it is produced from the day itself copyrights applicable but still you have to register by that way you can get the legal remedy okay then computer software or program they can also registered for copyright protection under literary work 
as per the copyright act 1957 literary work includes it can be computer program computer uh, generated tabular information compilation reports and all these things here you have to submit the source code what kind of the code you used in this particular application so that codes will get the uh, protection from the copyrights what is the significance in 2012 like i said earlier our copyrights legislation it was amended and it was amended in such a way that our law is in conformity with the international standard such as world intellectual property organization copyright treaty wct wct as well as wipo performances and phonograms treaty w double p t in relation to literacy dra dramatic music and artistic work regarding these four uh, categories once a copyright is given granted this copyright will be for six for the life of that generator whoever you know like generated this work in that person's lifetime this protection will be offered and after the person died for the next 60 years also copyright protection will be offered next regarding the anonymous or pseudonymous work posthumous work cinematograph films and public undertakings international agencies photographs regarding this sound record regarding the all these things from the date it was produced from that day 60 years of protection will be offered in this category so you have to you have to know the difference between in when the 60 years protection will be offered in which condition the lifetime of that other plus 60 years protection will be offered that you have to know then 1957 copyrights act section 37 it is saying that the broadcasting of the broadcasting reproduction rights here reproduction rights is all about one will produce the work and you are using that work again same like star india they are telecasting the match and you are reproducing you are telecasting again in your side that is a you know like broadcasting reproduction right according to section 37 clause 2 it uh, gives what is the violation of the copyrights and article 39 i mean this section 39 of this copyrights act it talks about exception of course there are exceptions also if you are using the copyrights this copyrightly protected material for your private purpose or for your research purpose for the educational purpose which is uh, not a commercial then you will not attract the copyrights violation that kind of exemptions are provided under section 39 not infringement in certain cases bona fide teaching as well as the research now let us see some of the case laws related to dynamic injunction utv versus 1337x dot to for the first time the concept of dynamic injunction was introduced in this case and the universal city studios llc versus dot movies baby 2023 it is related that uh, getting giving copyrights protection against the some of the rogue websites from uploading the movie contents as well as the web series these are some of the true landmarks judgments related to dynamic infringement dynamic injunction what is the conclusion the conclusion is it is a tool used by the courts to protect the rights of the copyrights owners especially in cases where there is a high risk of online piracy as it is a preemptive action you don't need to wait until someone uh, you know violated the copyrights before someone violated it you can take this action so that the potential revenue damage can be stopped so the innovation will be rewarded yesterday's video question consider the following statement regarding the protection of people arrested under preventive detention so which one is right it is available only to citizens of india as it cannot be extended more than three months under any circumstances this is also right unless until the approval is given by the you know like judicial board that is a different story next today's question today's video question is dynamic injunction sometimes seen in news it is related to which of the following related to which of the following statements please comment May's question what do you understand by intellectual property rights what does it mean discuss how india should manage intellectual property rights issues okay how india should manage these issues by strengthening legislations how we can manage this is the today's main question as we reach to the end of this video let us summarize quickly in this video we discussed about what is the meaning of dynamic injunction and why the star india limited private limited they went for the dynamic injunction and what are the protections offered under dynamic injunction 
copyrights comes under which ministry some of the sections such as section 37 section 39 that that deals with the exemptions related to copyrights we discussed about and the efforts done by the indian legislature to amend our laws in conformity with the international laws and we also discussed about some of the standard supreme i mean standard judicial interpretation regarding the copyrights this is a detailed analysis regarding the dynamic injunction